Yes. Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. Tis a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry. Won't stay long. Geralt, I've got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbud's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. He says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. What are you afraid of exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other... Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what happens when the witch hunters get their hands on you. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridian? You won't always be there to help. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Gotta be kidding me. He tell you to come holding a red rose? He doesn't mention flowers. But I won't refuse if you feel like giving me some. It's a fish market, Triss. Be able to get you some salted cod at best. I think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. of blue jerkins. Interesting. Yeah? Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise... Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. This way. It's not far.
Thank you. Let's go. What did they want from you? I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe... Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You were to come alone, miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the Witch Hunters. Aye, you're surely right, miss. I... It just weren't what I expected since Lady Vagel, bud. Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of late. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard. But since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vogelbud bought off the Guardsmen, but since the Hunters paid for every Mage revealed to him... Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the Hunters anyway. How'd Ingrid Vogelbud know to contact Triss, that Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear once the Witch Hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbug can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vogelbud fears the help's being watched. If the hunters are after Albert, I doubt some merrymaking will distract them. Geralt, a ball at the Vogelbuds is hardly some merrymaking. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candied petals or blue roses from Nazaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire, knows naught about Albert's interest in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Vagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. The guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, alright? Good luck to you. Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes. Most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Eliel's shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a... doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all.
so long. Greetings. Glad to take a glance at where you... Of course, please do. So long. Geralt! Someone's in a good mood. So? Nothing. Just, you look good when you're giddy. You get everything? Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. Everything's ready. We can go. Just a shame he didn't dress up like I asked. Really expected me to show up in a lacework collar, ruffles on my trousers? You'd even look great wearing a bustle. Dad, I want to know what that is. For now, you'll just have to survive on bread and witcher. Well then, shall we go? Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. All's in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Now, one more thing. I'll leave your swords here, please. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. It's beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. <laughs> How could he? With that scrawny harlot. Come now, don't cry. After all, he's not the only one in the world. But he's a baronet. Where will I find another baronet? Hello, Vivian. No use pretending you don't know me. Time to invest in Ruby. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one, older than the last, it seems, a decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? You asked for it. Won't she? How long are you gonna make me wait? We weren't supposed to draw any attention. What? Nothing happened. Your reputation precedes you, Geralt. On a clear day, you can see Nilfgaard Thanos in the city walls. <laughs> My husband is supervising. Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Miracle. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. 
But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead? Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Who is that? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. Excuse me a moment. Miss? Yes, it's me. The trout buyer? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. Thank you for agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight, but if you trust this man... Like no one else. Any sign of the hunters recently? Since they attacked my servant at the market, none. All has been quiet. But I bribed a man of the Temple Guard. He claims there's more and more talk of Albert in the ranks. How did the Guardsmen learn about your son's interests to begin with? <sighs> Unfortunately, I cannot be sure Albert himself was not the source. Merely boasting about an experiment. He's careless that way. Like his father. A kind man, but a dimwit. Devoured by an Arrakis. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah. Must have traveled far and wide. Hardly. He attempted to breed them. Perhaps I should be pleased Albert adopted alchemy as his hobby. A safe one, relatively speaking. Until recently, that is. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret, it won't be long. Is your son ready to go? We'll have to act quickly. Yes, I've seen to everything. Where will you take him? You're better off not knowing any details. He'll be safe, I promise. But... Please, trust me. It's not the first time I've done this. I know. Thank you. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. Let's look for Albert. Uh, I'm not just some old shot. Ah, I'm a, a true albino. Yes, darling. Albert Vagelbud? Phew, my sweet. I can be out of Valentino. Ooh. Ah. On a clear day, you can see Nilfgaard's banners from the city walls. <laughs> like the sucking gallop. There's a laundry in Far Corners. I mean, the Vagelbuds are there. Albert Vagelbud? Do I look like a pathetic buffoon and mummy's boy to you? Well... Go oh, by the gods! I won't say to excuse their long stingers. Boom. Oh. Yes. Nice mask. <laughs> oh, 
Hubbard Vagobud? No. <laughs> I'm a black panther. <laughs> oh my, Count! Your excursion to Novigrad. We should talk about it. Oh, so you are. Yes, when can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later. A jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. Hope Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. Wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. They have this contraption. Care to sit down for a spell? Relieved to get that mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about... Yes? About that mage we met earlier? Ah, oh, Moritz. What do you want to know? How'd you meet? <sighs> Geralt, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. Seemed just like the type. Oh, really? At the time, to me, he seemed sweet. He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than his leader. See, but you're the one organizing the mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. You're a charismatic leader. Simple as that. You really think so? Absolutely. Next thing you know, they'll be calling you Iron Marigold. Could even wear an eye patch and it'd look right. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought you were being sincere. Of course I'm being sincere. Look at me. Didn't blush a bit. <laughs> Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No. Just some lost guest. Shh. Must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, biag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Oh. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. Sooner we get out of here, the better. Oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely... Entirely what? Newt! <laughs> come on, Geralt! Triss, wait! Geralt! Coming?
Careful. Miss Merigold, at last! So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Garrett will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. Circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I... Albert Vagelhood. Please, step away, miss. Nobility's not towards you, Count. Try anything, and you will get bruised. <sighs> Doubt it. Begun to worry. Everything's fine, though you should probably send someone to clean up the garden before any guests wander in there. I'm to send servants to the garden. Yes. I shall see to it. And you must hurry. Everything set? Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. It 
It's, it's more than I expected. Stunningly more, frankly. Glad I could help you collect it. You'll find a good use for it? It's finally possible, probable even, that we can get all the mages out of Novigrad. You know where to find me if you want to say goodbye. Goodbye? What happened at the fountain? I'm sorry, I acted irresponsibly. It was the wine. <laughs> Too strong. No need to apologize. It was nothing. Yes. Nothing. Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful. I'm out of coin. But you've got something else, dear. Give us a necklace and get out of here. Hands off or I'll cut them off. Geralt, you don't need to. I wanna. Grab your things and let's go. Get out! Now! When I need your help, I'll ask for it. What? Are you angry? Ugh, angry? No. But they deserved the necklace. They risked a lot just by sheltering me. They took a risk, sure, for a hefty fee. Yes. The thing is, they could have taken the coin and turned me over to the hunters, but they didn't, which was extremely honorable by Novigrad standards. Please don't make excuses for them. Geralt, we could debate morals or any number of other topics, but I don't have time for that now. You saw what's happening in the city. Actually, this is the perfect time for a moral debate. We can start by setting some limits on self-sacrifice. High time you forgot about your fellow mages. Saved yourself instead. Would you abandon Vesemir? Eskel? Lambert? Leave them behind just to save your own skin? I understand you're worried about me. But I can't just pack up and leave them all. I know what awaits those who fall into the hunter's hands. How can I help? Everything's falling apart. I don't know where to start. I should get all the mages to the docks as soon as possible. Get them on board this ship. But Berthold and Anise have yet to show up at the meeting point. Berthold and Anise? Who are they? A young couple. He's an alchemist. Had a practice in Gildorf. She studied at Aratusa. I'm worried the people who hit them might have turned them in. See? My hosts weren't all bad. Won't be easy getting to the port. Lots of guardsmen in the streets. So we won't take the streets. In case of trouble, we were all to meet at the Kingfisher. There's a passage into the sewers from the cellar, and apparently those can get you all the way to the docks. I know the Novigrad sewers. Won't run into any hunters there, but that doesn't mean it'll be safe. That's why I'm asking you. I need you to find the way to the docks, clear the path for the others, and do it quickly. The hunters could figure out our plan any minute. Now you understand my predicament? Mm -hmm. Help too and put all the others at risk. Or go straight to the Kingfisher, abandon the two to certain death. What do I do, Geralt? We should help Anise and Berthold. To write them off like that, it'd be cruel. Fine. But then we need to go now. Clock's ticking. Lead the way.
Not far. In the bits. Now, quiet, girl. We'd rather not draw any attention to ourselves. Lay me down with a barrel of beer and a cup. What will the boy do? A patrol. We can't let them see us. Well? 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 Nothing hurts as much as life. Well? Well? She's into the witchcraft too. Good work. Take him. No, I beg you. We've done nothing wrong. Right. Hear that several times a day. What, uh, what about my reward? Reward? Marigold. Underwood. Land on two pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yes. I'll not leave here. I'm no fool. Pertol. Have you seen what's happening out there? They'll catch us before we can reach the port. Catch us and kill us. I can't guarantee you'll be safe if you come with us. But if you stay here, you will definitely die. He's right. We'll hide somewhere. Wait it out. Darling, I beg you. Shut up! I told you last winter we should leave, but no, that didn't suit you. Well, here's your comeuppance. We're going now. Go going. Thanks. We need to join the others as soon as possible. Check the sewers beneath the Kingfisher? No. Didn't think we'd have to take that route. To think a year ago, guardsmen bowed to mages they passed in the street. Now we have to flee the city like rats. You could stay. You'd manage it somehow. The others will never make it without me. in sight. Everything seems in order. Or we're too... Damn it. They're here already. You should have run. Spread out! Yes. Too long. Too long? We set out to rescue two people. Yes. And lost one. Good thing we got here before they found the hatch, grabbed the others. This is not about numbers, Geralt. This is no time to mourn. Come with me.
This way, Geralt. Triss? What happened upstairs? Is everything all right? No. Everything's not all right. Geralt, wait a minute. I need to see who made it. Why the tears, my dear lady? You shouldn't worry yourself. It tarnishes your beauty. Guess you must have worried quite a bit. No, I was born ugly. You fleeing to Kavir too? No, but I am helping the others set off. You know me. Bleeding heart. It only start bleeding now. They've been burning mages for months around here. But only since recently on this scale. Besides, I look forward to having friends in Kavir. Especially among King Tancred's entourage. Trace is about to speak. We'll talk later. We've waited long to escape. Till we could make sure Kavir will take us. Till we could acquire enough coin to hire a ship. Till we could find a captain we could trust. We've waited too long. There's no more time for hesitation. We must leave Novigrad today. This is madness. Hunters stand on every corner. So we'll get to the port through the sewers. Garrett will clear a safe path for us. They'll catch us anyway. You'll see. They'll catch us and kill us. Perhaps. In which case we'll die with dignity. Weapons in hand. Not tied to a stake begging for mercy. If the need arises, I'll defend you. You can also count on my help. Yes. The help of a Redanian spy. Wedovic's right-hand man. That was long ago, sir. You raised that madman. You taught him to kill. You... This is no time to settle past scores. End of discussion. Gonna enter the sewers now. I'll signal when the path's clear. You follow my trail, and don't stray from it, no matter what. I will go with Geralt. You, Dijkstra, go to the port and see that everything's in order with the ship. On my way. We'll meet there. I hope. Triss, really want to go with me? No offense, but... Offense taken. Stop talking and lead the way. Get out alive. You can't... Good luck. You've got Radovid and the church. Imagine to banish us along. Someone you can rely on in this fucking city. It's all right. It'll be over soon. Hmm. Soon.
damn it! No way through! All is lost. Relax. Maybe there's another way. A library? Triss, found an exit. Uh, look. Gonzalo de Versailles' poet. Jacob of Veraz's <laughs> Rare, first edition. <laughs> no, he won't. I leave me. Set in otherwise. Later, Harold. Let's find a way to the port first. around the neck and shoulders. still lit. Died recently, from bites to the neck. Watch out for its venom. 
luckily. Steady source of income. Come on, let's go. Seagulls! Hear them? We made it! Come on, we need to ready the ship before the hunters learn what's happening. Finally. You've bloodied you long enough. Did you have time to look around? How's the ship? Creaky piece of junk. Wood's rotting. Sails are prone to rip like an old pair of knickers. And the... Will we make it to Kavir? Provided you don't run into any storms. I'll signal the others to come. Any help? Can I play the violin for you? Fetch some flowers or bonbons. What the hell's that mean? What? Don't tell me you don't plan to beg her to stay. Why do you even care? I adore love stories. Especially the ones that end happily ever after. Hunters! Hunters approaching! Board the ship! We want them alive! No time for courtesies, my dear. Get on board. One last farewell. Thank you. I'll never forget what you did for me. And what we had together. I'll remember you too. Always with a smile. Miss Marigold! Coming! Take care. And give Siri a kiss from me once you find her. You're an ass. What? An ass. An oaf. A twit. Didn't even try to stop her. I had my reasons. Of course you did. You're an ass. An oaf. A twit. But even an ass can do the world a favor if one more enlightened tells him how. Dijkstra, what are you plotting this time? What would you say? How many majors did we say, altogether? Dunno. Didn't count. Thirty, maybe, give or take a few. And how many would you say remain in the North? How many alchemists, healers, herbalists? Two thousand? Three? Doing a population count? Is that it? No, I'm concerned. In Novograd they had us. We were here. But who saved those in Rimba? Bannard, Ard Kareg, Gullet. You know damn well that daft bastard Radovid won't rest till he's killed them all. Every last one, Yennefer and Triss included. Moving as speeches go, now get to the point. Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to help me kill Radovid. You that concerned about the mages of the world? Expect me to believe that? Actually, yes. But not because I'm sensitive or it gives me a heartache, true. To my mind, this systemic persecution is foremost a symptom of a far more serious problem. A madman rules Redania. I served Vizimir, Radovid's father, was his head of intelligence for more than two decades. Together, we transformed Redania. 
made it the North's most powerful realm. Any idea what made it strong? Its armies, I'd wager. And you'd bloody lose, you idiot. Mass mobilization? Inciting peasants to take up their scythes, straighten them? Where's the art in that? Much harder to build a strong state with healthy commerce, manufacturing, solid alliances, progressive science, and fair, independent courts that hand down just judgments. Vizimir and I managed to do just that. Through years of fucking hard work. I will not sit on my hands as that little shit squanders that. Radovid the stern, my ass. Radovid the witless, I'd say. Will you help me, Geralt? I don't kill kings. Just not a regicide. Rumors to the contrary be damned. I know. I'm merely asking for your aid in organizing the assassination. Someone else will strike the blow. <sighs> Dijkstra. Might not have heard this, though I'd find that hard to believe. But witchers are neutral on principle, so... Oh, bollocks. That's a convenient excuse you lot try to hide behind every time the temperature rises. It's grown hot, my friend, and it grows hotter still. Pyres burn in every city. For majors, great and small, your female friends included. For non-humans, for witchers soon. Is that the North you espouse? The North you're prepared to live in? Silence. Cards close to your chest, I understand. To slay a king, it's not exactly some bloody necker contract. You think on this. Think on what I said. And if you conclude you'd rather change the course of history instead of riding its current to hell, you come find me. At the Passa Flora in the garret. I'll be waiting with my maids. I'll think about it. So long, Geralt. <laughs>